Okay, here we go. I hate to do this, but juke 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 You don't know what that means. No. That's, that's a, it's a film re reference. Mm. Don't worry, I'm surprised. You're, you're too young to ha have that thing, but you know, it doesn't matter. <sighs> we're here with Judy. Where, where, where are we? When we say here, where are we? So we're at the Center for Art, Research, and Alliances, also known as CARA. C, C Center for, for Art. Art, and the R is Research mm -hmm. and Alliances. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and where would that be? Where would we? So we're in the we're in the West Village. Mm -hmm. We're on Thirteenth and Brent Avenue, mm -hmm. and we're uh, emerging, you know, arts nonprofit, and mm -hmm. we're a publisher as well, mm -hmm. and a gallery. And right now, you know, we're super excited because we have Neil here. Oh, uh, forget Neil. We're not talking about Neil. No, no, we're not talking about Neil right now. Hold on a second. Yeah. Maybe we might get to Neil. How you got to Neil, whatever have you. But I'm um, interested when you say. Uh, publishing, uh, that means you have a lot of, what do you publish, poets or, or music, what do you publish? Yeah, so it's really just art books, books made by artists or for artists and about, you know, arts and culture, but um, really it's to help people who maybe have never had the chance to publish whatever it is that they want to share, get an opportunity to do that. But it sounds like, uh, are these like coffee table books or what? Are, are it's a variety, we can go downstairs and I can show you, but it's, mm -hmm. um, it's really, um, a wide variety of different things, like, you know, Marilyn Nance's book is the photographs from Festival 77, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's edited by her uh, colleague, Remy, mm -hmm. and that's different to maybe another one where it's really maybe documenting an artist's process and mm -hmm. kind of maybe essays written by friends about what an artist has been doing. Or it could be a zine, or it could be... I love zines. I'm surprised <laughs> zines went out of favor. I have no idea. Yeah, what I, I, so it's this basically... Is, it's, this it's is like almost like a yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's, it's kind of boundaryless, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, how do you find... How, how do you, what's the process of picking, picking an artist? Uh, okay, let's just do it now. Now is a, a musician. Um, so uh -huh. how, did you, how did you first uh, find out about Neil? So Neil, our... Neil. Um, our director, Manon Esposo, she has worked with Nail in the past. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she had invited him to join, I think it was a biennial in Brazil and one in mm -hmm. Ireland. Mm -hmm. And so he, you know, they, they met that way and she was able to kind of um, curate the show mm -hmm. and have him be, have him be you know, his first So she knew it was the show. show. It's like, so, so she's traveling around the world uh, uh, hanging out at gigs? Yeah, and what she's our chief. Right now. So yeah, she's she's sort of like the master behind the mastermind behind it. So I guess I have to ask you a stupid regular question, but but how long has Kara existed and what, what made it what what was the necessity for it to exist? Yes, I think they've been around for about five years now oh, okay. and they're New consolidated and they were more of a publishing house at the time doing these art books and they've been kind of working with People and getting advice about how to form into this nonprofit that is really mm -hmm. centered around caring for artists and kind of being there for them at every stage of their um, process, you know, mm -hmm. like not just for the full product, but also maybe your research and the things that happen in between and other mm -hmm. things that go into your art making process or other things that go into you being an artist. And I think they also have a, an interest in a wide variety of forms of art, you know, it's performance, it's writers, it's oh, really? researchers, it's, 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 it's really, I mean, even me working here, I think I've expanded my, mm. my ideas of what, um, what is oh. worthy of being well, art. You know, I might so. have to do some lobbying for audio drama, but we won't get into that right now, I'm not going to do, do that. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a really, we had like a soft opening, mm -hmm. and I think we hosted over about 50 artists, and they were of all kinds. So. But you know what happens? Soon as soon as people find a space, they say, oh, really? You get flooded. I mean, has that started to happen? Or whatever? I think we're still fairly new. Like we're, so they've been ex in thinking about creating this space for about five years, acting as a publisher at the time, and then now we have our grand opening, which is tomorrow, debuting now, and we're really kind of open to the public now. So we're, we're still, it's, it's a we're, good, we're, he, we've arrived, he's basically. A, he's a great person to, uh, to, to start something. With, I'm, yeah. really, I'm serious. I'm very, very serious. Um, let me go back. You, you said about five years. You, you, what does that mean exactly? Because, you know, you had the three years of COVID. Or oh, yeah. And, and I mean, so I can't speak to it as much. I've only been here six months. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. but okay. I just know that they've been working with, you know, different people, cultural workers, trying to figure out where are the needs and where can they kind of fill the gap. Mm. 
And I think they've just found that they really want to make a caring space mm. for the community and mm. some place that is fluid and can be whatever it needs to be um, at the time. So we do public programs and Manuela and our um, director of public programs, Emmy. Mm -hmm. she, and she curates the bookstore. She does an amazing job. She's a great person to talk to about those books because she's yeah. like a, yeah. an encyclopedia. She knows yeah. everything mm -hmm. and she's, she's really been thoughtful about every single book that's in there. And can kind of really tell you the intention behind it, but um, well, I'm yeah. in New York for a couple a couple of weeks, um, so I, I, I do want to make some space. I need to talk to both. Yeah, both if these, you come the, tomorrow, you're, you're yeah. bound to meet. Madeline, Everybody keeps on saying if I come. I told. Oh yes, I, it's when been you come it's been tomorrow. Documented. When you come tomorrow, I can't not to come. <laughs> I actually live in South Africa, so for me to be here is kind of interesting. Then they would be here at the same time, so I will be. Yes, be here. <laughs> I will be here too, so you'll see me. <laughs> Um, no, what, how did you get? Um, I, I, look, I'm, I'm through with asking these, these, these kind of <laughs> questions. But, but, but how did you hook up? I mean, uh, what, what brought you? Are you an artist yourself, or what? Yeah. Administrator? What are you? I'm an artist as well, but I work here as their development and communications. Oh, so, 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 but forget that. But what, what's your what's your medium? What, what art? What kind of art? What's my? I'm, I'm, I like to draw. Um, I like to paint. So mm -hmm. I'm an illustrator, and I paint and draw. Mm -hmm. I like to make things as well. When when when, when you do your painting, what, what's your medium and paint? Uh, I've done it all. I've done oil, acrylics. I really am into watercolor right now. Oh <laughs> man! I'm really into watercolor right I used, now. I used to be artist model for a long, for like eight years oh, at, really? at, at School of Visual Arts. But I always tell people, look, there's two things you have to do. First of all, especially when you're a young artist, do watercolor. It's so much fun. Well, the thing is, you have to have discipline. <laughs> you, you don't know what's going to happen. It's, it's a great, great, great problem. But the other oh. thing is that if you are, especially, especially as an illustrator. Then um, take a class where they have the skeleton there, but you have a model for the skeleton so you know the human anatomy. You mm -hmm. can break all the rules afterwards, but they, when you're first starting out, know the human anatomy. No, and what And watercolor is it, is, it, is, it, is the two things. The watercolor, I love watercolor. Yeah, you know I, mean? I love it too. Yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. So well, I'm yeah. trying to work on um, kind of like a puzzle piece painting where it's going to be spread out over four pieces of paper so it can be really nice and big. Mm -hmm. And then I can frame it together, you mm -hmm. know. But I just have a tape on my wall right now. Yeah, but so when you say puzzle it. piece, no, you, everybody says puzzle piece. They're, they're not saying that. A puzzle piece, you have to, almost have the frame has to come out so you can hook them together. Oh, yes, no, that's not so what I mean. So don't say, no, I don't know that's not what you mean. <laughs> I just mean, you know, I'm trying to expand. <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, I guess I got to go back to Red Cliffs. Where do you hail from? Where, where, what's your lineage? Where, where, where are your people? Yeah, I'm from Swaziland. Really? Yeah. It's a teeny. That's what they need, yeah. Really? Yes. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it. Do you understand? <laughs> a few man, when was that? Two thousand five? Whenever it was, I was in I was in oh, well it was Swaziland right then. But um it was the first, I guess, modern poetry reading. I was one of the people that started that not started, but I was one of the people that had this poetry reading. And I love the Swazi. I like the um there's a oh, now I forgot the brother's name. But one of the things I like about I liked about Swazi, say, hip-hop, is because they didn't curse because they have, it's, so, it's so Christian. That, that back then, I don't know what it is yeah, like now. I mean, but it was, it was so Christian. It's a Zionist. Well, yeah, yeah, when I say, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, Zion, yeah. I, the, 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 yeah, the, the, let's know, listen, the, ba the, 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 basis, the basis of Christianity, yeah. that they have a code. Mm -hmm. So they don't really, they're not offensive. They didn't come out of an angry, whatever it is. And I really like that, that hip-hop. And then there's this, uh, I forgot the, I his name, I got his Got a CD anyway. Anyway, back to the point. I, 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 let, let's stay with Swaziland for a second. Well, <laughs> Iswatini, what you're here now, but what kind of grounding did you have there? Because it's fairly, uh, how we say, poor. Coming I, obviously, the king didn't choose you, so you didn't have your own disco ballroom <laughs> and all the rest. I'm sorry, no. I, I'm no joke. But go ahead. But yeah, I mean, I went to uh, my dad's a teacher mm. in Swaziland and an international school that I went to mm. and it's a, a philanthropist who is partnered with that school mm. um, basically will pay for your college tuition if you come to the States on a liberal, to a liberal arts college. Mm. Um, wow. So if you graduate from that high school you kind of qualify and then you can apply to a list of schools and they'll, they'll, they pretty much will give you whatever you need. It's need based. Well, well, which one did you choose? Um, Colorado College in Colorado Springs. Yeah. Did you, did you run out of breath? I, mean, I did actually. I really did. You know, and <laughs> even though I feel like Swaziland is a fairly high altitude right, where I'm does. from, because yeah, yes, I'm yes, from yes. Babane, so it's like 
we're in the um, high felt. Yeah, yeah. So I, I thought it wouldn't affect me, but one of the first time I got on a treadmill, I was out of breath for sure after like three minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, Judy, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, Maybe another time, but I'm sorry we meandered off. I'll talk to your peoples, rather your your Kyra peoples about Kyra itself. Yeah. But you're more fascinating than that. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna I'm gonna post this up somehow, and then you know you can send it to your dad or whatever you know whatever it is. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks so much for talking oh, yeah. to me. Thanks I really for appreciate. It. Back. Okay. Surely.